But this is the base and I haven't entered it yet. I'm not sure if I can though. Checking clan bunker access protocols and we entered inside guys bunker sector 7. Let's go. Oh, there is another there's someone else Benchu, what's up? Hey, yo, you guys, it's me. I'm sorry. Welcome to last dinner survival clan update So it's out guys new version 1.10.2. Let's just read quickly what there is new in the game Let's go underground one more abandoned bunker spotted under sector 7 It's going to be the base for your clan You have yet to learn of what it can offer you while now your friends and you can warm up yourselves up at a barrel and discuss further plans. In the future, the base will be a starting point of your epic clan adventures at underground locations. All players that have unlocked Sector 7 and joined a clan can go in the new bunker. It's time to team up. And also there is something about the chopper. Uh, chopper, get lots of guns for your home chest and set up to mop up your favorite location. Chances of chopper parts drop increased on the farm and in bunker boxes for yellow and red coupons. It's not only the farm and boxes for coupons that get you a highly increased chance of engine parts drop you can also get it in bunker for a floppy and in humanitarian aid box can you already hear the desired engine roar of a new bike it will come in handy soon so guys now we can find engine parts more easily in last than earth we can find them now in the floppy crates and also chopper is gonna be useful very soon for some reason so guys another update is probably coming soon as well but let's check out if halloween well, Halloween items are gone, guys. Well, whatever. Not even surprised about that. They said that Halloween items will disappear. All my candies are gone here as well, guys. So everything is gone and last on Earth. Well, whatever, guys. That's not a big deal. And uh, the bench is destroyed here as well. Whatever. Should I just maybe keep it like this? Because I feel like if we repair it, it's not gonna go back. So let's just keep it like that. You know what, guys? It's gonna look pretty. Let's just keep the memory. This is the only memories from the thingity thing. So let's go. Let's run, guys, quickly to Sector 7. I've already been there when the game updated because I wanted to know if it's there or if it's just a bug update. If it's there because developers posted something on Discord saying that update that multiplayer update might not work for a few hours when it's out so i just wanted to check it out before recording the video but it is out guys so i'm gonna hop inside gonna show you that it's there let's go let's check it out how that clan base is gonna look like so maybe someone is gonna be there i have no clue whatever guys let's go let's take this thing anything i took the quest there as well to check out if i can go outside of the sector 7 but this is the base and i haven't entered it yet i'm not sure if i can though Checking clan bunker access protocols and we entered inside guys bunker sector 7. Let's go. Let's check it out, baby Okay, so guys, this is this Update wow Okay, everything is closed here. So now I understand guys everything why we will need our mining tool Whatever it is here go. This is the drill guys. We will need to drill excavate everything here that's why we will need the drill, guys. Oh, drilling machine. It's not in the game, of course. We will need here the parts probably to repair it. And it will be definitely drilling all of that. Walk this way. 100%, guys. We will need to use the drill to excavate the parts here to do something else. Oh. Oh, there's the music playing, guys. That's nice. Here we go. This is that metro thingy that's over here. Plus, there's some sort of warming up thingy -dy thing. That's very, very, very appreciated. I love that, guys. Here we go. Finally, we're, we're having a new location. So here, probably everything is going to start from here. Like they said, clan wars. Maybe clan wars are going to be in last north. Here we go. There's someone already here. Oh, Jumbo, what's up? Hi! Here we go. There's already, guys, one teammate over here. What's up? <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, so, so sweet. So it is out, guys. So it's very, very sweet. So dudes are here at all of these items. As you can see, guys, now you're going to be able to see the stuff with your teammates, with your clan mates. And it's just very, very, very sick. I have no idea if other teammates are going to actually come here. I mean, there is Star Snipe. There is Fuerza. Probably they're going to come in after here but yeah guys this is just amazing can't wait for that drill machine guys and are you guys excited about last on earth like we said it's not a huge update like like i think i said that this is not going to be a huge update even developers said that this is going to be just an update where you'll be able to meet your people and chat with them and something can i even maybe do some emotes nope i can't do any emotes uh, but it's just like standing here. Well, that's just that's just cool. Can't wait until they will add more things to excavate here. And where is that music coming from? Oh, there's that uh, megaphone or whatever it's called. 
This is where the music is coming from. This is cool. I'm glad that they added that. There's that barrel. Everything is thick. You know what? We're gonna take a screenshot. This is thumbnail right there, baby. Well, whatever. I'm excited. Oh, there's another. There's someone else. Benchu, what's up? Hey. <laughs> there's more people here at school. Nice. More people over here in the clan, guys. This is sweet. This is so, so sweet. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this is all the YouTubers recording here as well. That's sweet, guys. Uh, probably we're gonna be creating another clan here as well, maybe from my other account, because I wanna be in the clan with other YouTubers so that we can maybe record stuff or something. I think, guys, you understand that it's better to have a clan with YouTubers. But I also wanna have another clan. So if you wanna join a other official Happy Star clan, join us on Discord. Link is in the description. We can join us on Discord. So yeah, this is the things that I have to say. So probably now we're I'm gonna cut out to the other part that I recorded before the update you're gonna see that i had like that 30 minutes warning before the maintenance and other stuff so yeah now we're gonna see an epic raid so take care now everybody can't wait for the update can't wait until all of that is gonna come to place when we'll be able to excavate the parts when we'll be able to do more stuff hopefully updates are gonna come pretty Quick. Hey, yo, you guys, it's me, Absarica. Welcome to Last Dinner Survival. So right now we're going to be doing Alpha Bunker because I want to get guys 30 red tickets. And also probably I want to get this floppy crate if I'm not going to get a C4 because I want to raid and I have no C4s left. And also have to do that C4 task. And soon my Alpha Bunker is going to close. So I'm going to be doing guys third floor. And after that, we will do one Gucci Gucci raid. Hopefully it will be a great raid because last time I raided, I did get a lot of guns and... Maybe, maybe this time we're gonna get the same, but I kind of doubt it. You know what, this time I'll be happy if we're gonna get just resource raid. Planks are gonna be fine for me as well. As long as I, if I get a resource raid and I don't have to use guys a C4, then I'm happy. But if I get a resource raid and I have to use like one or two C4s, then it's a little bit sad, but we're gonna see how it's gonna go. So I just have to get guys five red tickets. So I'm not gonna be grinding here full third floor. I'll just kill probably five frenzy giants. And if I'm gonna be lucky, I'll get five red tickets. If no, then I'll keep popping these frenzy giants until I get five red tickets. And after that, probably maybe activate hard mode bunker if I won't get a C4 over there. We might also do double raid today because I still haven't gotten guys a revenge raid for quite some time. And also guys, I will start picking up all the wires. Maybe you know better places where I can grind for wires. I do know that you can find wires basically everywhere. Like for example, in in like stone areas wooden areas and blah 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 in the forests because i will need a bunch of wires in order to upgrade my turrets to higher levels because in previous video that i've done it was how i try to kill raiders but it was pretty hard to kill them and probably killing them without mill cores is going to be almost impossible and i keep getting comments sire what is mill core what is mill core mill core is a grenade launcher in last on earth so probably without mill cores it's going to be impossible to kill them because they do heal up every time they their health is below like 50 and you have have to do like a lot of damage so probably if turret hits them and i hit them together with mill core maybe they're gonna die so if i'll have like what four tourists that will spit grenades everything will be be better and plus uh, of what i've heard uh, raiders always spawn in the same place so i think i'll be able to like place some traps aka turrets and everything will be better. So at least that's what I'll do. And I feel like it might be a good usage of resources. Because if with turrets I'll be able to kill these raiders. Then that means that I'll be able to take their 3 VSSs plus 3 SWAT sets. I'm not really I'm not really that much excited about SWAT sets. But I am excited about their VSSs. Even if those VSSs would be like guys 70% of durability. I feel like those VSSs will be very Gucci. Let's also start popping these turrets. Because they might drop me some turret parts. And I had like almost full chest of these turret parts and then raiders stole all of that and now i have no turret parts so i'll need to start grinding guys for these turret parts and i also think that i'll need to start picking up batteries but i don't have any space for batteries as of right now soon guys maybe we're gonna have a little bit more space for batteries then i'll start picking them up as well because one by one battery we're gonna get more copper bars because you can recycle batteries for copper bars and i feel like it's very very, very useful and we keep getting more and more steel guys i feel like soon we're gonna be able to craft our third level four three by three room and I feel like then my base is just gonna be unraidable. It's already like you can raid it and you're not gonna be able to steal anything because all of my loot is in level four walls. But I feel like when Metal Cutter is gonna come out, it will be a bit tougher. But again, guys, we have to see how that metal cutter is gonna look like. Okay, okay, 28 red tickets, two more red tickets, and I'll be able to get over here. And also, update is still not out yet. I have a feeling that it's gonna come out today, but I have to leave my house. So probably I won't be able to maybe even make a video about new updates. So probably I'll be a little bit late, guys. So sorry about that. But basically, it's just an update about clans.
But we're gonna see. Oh yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kill all after that. We're gonna kill, guys, the blind one. As uh, doing the third floor and killing the blind one will give you 10 red tickets. And I still feel like this is the most efficient way to get red tickets. Because you need to use, like, what? One or two shotguns to kill that blind one. Plus a couple of assault rifles. Or, like, one, two glocks to get to the blind one. And that's it. Plus you're gonna get some hard mode items. It's... I feel like it's really, really useful. Here, we're gonna try to sneak up on this dude with my katana. Here we go. It works totally 100%. Here we go. Dude is dead. Let's pick up. So yeah, guys, I need only one more red ticket and then I'll get out of here and then I will go, guys, to the... I'll try to open up red crate and I'll keep my fingers crossed that we're gonna get a C4 because if I'm not gonna get a C4, I'll be very, very sad and very, very disappointed, guys. And I don't want to be sad and disappointed. It's pretty weird to start picking up those wires, but I'm actually excited to upgrade the turret. Like I said, like, the only point in Last on Earth is to upgrade your base and grind for something. It's like, a lot of people say, oh, I played Last on Earth for over a year and I haven't raided yet. Like, I have nothing I guess if you'd never raided in Last of Earth and you played this game for over a year and you, it's like, but it like makes no sense for me. It's like, what's the point to, for example, craft walls in this game? If there is no raids, there is no point to craft walls. And if you don't have to craft walls, there is almost nothing to do in this game. So it's like raids gave this game a purpose to grind and this game is all about grinding. Like, for example, now I'm again excited about playing Last of Earth because I want to upgrade these turrets. I have again another purpose, guys. I have a purpose to upgrade these turrets, even though they're not really that useful. Useful, but I want to go and uh, taunt raiders. I want to go and kill these raiders with these uh, turrets. So I want to upgrade the, these turrets to max level and they kind of costly and it's kind of interesting to upgrade them. So again, that's another purpose in Last on Earth. So I feel like if they added more purposes like that, more things to grind for, I feel like that would be a bit better. But as of right now, guys, we have what we have and I'm still glad that at least I found other things that I can do here. Whatever. Let's go. Let's try to pop, guys. Last frenzy giant, probably. I think I already have 30 red tickets, not only 29. Maybe this one will drop, guys, another red ticket. We're gonna see. And again, another question. How many level 4 turrets do you have? And not level 4 tourists, like what kind of level tourists do you have if you're playing the game for a long time? Because I'm pretty sure if you started the game not long ago, then of course you're not gonna have a lot of turrets as it's logic, but you got the point. So I think there's three more Frenzy Giants and it's a little bit sad to miss them, you know what I mean? It's like they're very, very close here. There's gonna be like, what, one, two, three Frenzy Giants just in one place. So it feels wrong, guys, to not go and kill them. So that's what we're gonna do. Look at that, guys. It's very, very easy. Gonna take back my, my shit. Whatever, not gonna even sneak up on that Toxic Abomination. As I'm too lazy. It will save me up only a couple of shots from Machete anyways. And a uh, couple of healing items. But I am gonna sneak up on Frenzy Giant, though. Here we go, this dude is dead. Let's take another red ticket. So here we go, guys. Like I said, 31 red ticket. Very, oopsies. Very, very nice. Another battery. And plus, my set is going to break very soon. So I probably am gonna let it break. And then I will exchange it as I'm too lazy to delete these four pieces of set. So here we go, guys. We're typing the passcode. Gonna take now two shotguns, hopefully. Yeah, guys, that's going to be 100% enough. Let's just drink one bottle of those. One bottle of beans. But Sark, it's not, it's not a bottle. It's a can. It's the same guys 100% the same so just came back to the base guys and our base got raided so these are all the items that were stolen from me so i'll have to repair my base pretty quickly oopsies i just accidentally shot i shouldn't be trusted with firearms so guys we're gonna be upgrading my base repairing all the stuff because they did explode yeah they destroyed one level three wall up the top so i'm gonna repair my base and uh yeah three two one so here we go, guys. I'm ready to go for that revenge raid. I also took all the required items. Let's just hop on my chopper and let's check it out what we're gonna get inside of that base. I also got a 30-minute warning that servers are gonna restart. So maybe, maybe it's an update. Maybe, maybe no. We're gonna see how we're gonna do it. This base has no name in it. So I think I'm just gonna go because there is no way I'll be able to do research on this base. And I wanna go and raid as quick as possible because if servers are gonna restart and I won't be able to raid, then I will lose this base and I don't wanna lose it. So we're gonna see, guys, what we're gonna get inside of this base. And maybe, maybe it's even up update so then i'll be even able to record a little bit of that sector 7 thingy and we're gonna see how clans are gonna be well guys already look at that guys 100 hackers base let's just leave these c4s over here look at that he has a freaking atv on side of the on the floor what what well he has a generator and it's so sad that i can't steal his generator from his chopper Wish I could just steal it. So actually, this base exists on the internet. The point is, I'm just gonna explode one level four wall, level three wall, and I'll start going because, guys, servers are gonna restart very soon. So let's go. I'll start, guys, exploding this corner chest as everything 
is going to be all right. And let's take some coal from here because that's what I will do. Here we go. The first wave of zombies has already spawned. Hopefully, I'll be able to kill them off pretty, pretty quickly. Guys, I have no idea how much time I have left. Maybe like 20 minutes. Okay, attention service will be turned off, guys, in 15 minutes. So I have 15 minutes for this raid and maybe then we're going to get an update or maybe no update Anyways, we will see how that's gonna go, guys. Whatever, let's go. Let's check out what we're gonna get insured. I don't think it's a Gucci raid, but he will have some great stuff. And also, probably he has a turret up the top. I'm not really sure about it. But let's check it out if this is the turret facing the other side. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's sneak upon this turret, guys. Here we go. That turret is completely destroyed. And I have no idea. What is this sand? Here we go, guys. What is this sand? Probably someone destroyed this gunsmith bench. I have no idea what have happened there with this base. But the point is, uh, we're going to destroy these two chests. Be oh, my goodness. Not his table. Why would I destroy his table? Let's destroy his trunks because his trunks are going to have something good. Well, I love this set where we'll definitely take his set. So here we go. And plus, there is another trunk. And I don't think he has anything else that is valuable. But I mean, that's better than nothing to my root. Well, we got some gasoline. Let's take the damn gasoline. Let's take some copper, aluminum, one plus one electronic circuit. We're going to take that as well. Plus some wires. Most likely I'm going <laughs> to steal wires as well, but we will see. Whatever, going to leave that stuff back at my chopper. Here we go. Let's see what else did he have in his trunk. So they removed, guys, did they remove those chevrons? Because in the in that video, I've seen guy getting a chevron there. But I think they have removed those chevrons now. You can't even get chevrons anymore. You can't even get hard mode items anymore. What's the point of raids now? Like, literally, I feel Kefir will literally screwed up raids so badly that you can't even get any more hard mode items here. Unless it was a revenge raid for him, but I kind of doubt it. I don't know. Well, another Glock plus a SWAT set. Maybe, maybe we're going to take it. Here go, all of these dudes are half dead. Let's destroy another chest. So we'll be able to open up all of the chests and we're not gonna get any chevrons there. It is very, very sad. I don't understand why did they remove all of uh, all of all of the items in last and earth. Now you can't get floppy crates, you can't get hard mode items, you can't get anything. What's the point of raids anyways? Like I think that in the future five maybe updates, the only thing that you'll be able to raid is wood. Thank you, Kefir, for ruining raids. I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. Like, raids are ruined, and that's a fact. Whatever, let's go. Let's try to chop down this chest. Maybe we're gonna get something nice inside of this chest. Eh, nothing. So this is it. This is the base that I raided. Well, let's take this Zulu card. I mean, Zulu card is kind of dope. Let's take it. Could probably take his, these, his red tickets. Let's take his red tickets. Gonna take batteries, because he did have some batteries over uh, here right here we go he did have some batteries gonna probably take his swat set right and let's also check out what it, he has inside of these chests but it looks like he didn't have anything i even stole his wires so guys it feels like this is the raid that we got right let's go let's take a vss here let's get rid of my katana he's not gonna have anything else in any other chest let's take a saw blade mace i feel this is the raid that i got it was a hacker's raid but not the best hacker's raid but i'm just happy that i got my full uh, winter set because I usually like going to winters guys to winter area to grind over there That's what we're gonna do. Well nothing over there. I could probably steal another katana from here So that's probably what we will do guys. Let's go. Let's steal Last no, 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 not this. Let's take one katana for my bottles of water True Servers will be turned off in 10 minutes. Very appreciated for all that info. You're gonna take some wood as well. Of course, I'm gonna come back home without wood. Oh, he had even more wires. Let's take his wires, baby. And that's it. This is the raid that I got. Was it the best raid? No, but was it an okay raid? Definitely, guys. Oh, plus he had even more wires. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, baby. Yes, give me those wires. So this is the raid that I got. Wasn't the best raid. Also, wasn't the worst raid. Wish I could steal his generator, but I can't. So I feel like we're going to go back to the base end. If there is going to be an update, then I will show the update in the beginning of this video. If there is no update, then this video is going to end like this. So I think, guys, I will wait for about maybe 10, 20 minutes. And if there is no update, then there is no update. Video is going to be done. If there is an update, then this video is going to be a bit longer. Or maybe I'll cut out half of the video that I've done in Alpha Bunker so that I don't make this video 30 minutes long. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Or click here on the second card to see another last dinner survival epic raid. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day, so make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button while we're at it. And peace, 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 peace out.